Squad, it is Nicole Skies, and welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of the Sky Squad. If you are already subscribed, be sure to turn on notifications, that way you never miss another video like this. After you did that, comment done in the comment section down below, and I will try to like or comment. So, I recently dyed my hair, and you know, it might be inspired by the Frappuccino. Nobody knows for sure. So I think you guys know what DIY we are going to be creating today. By the title of this video, we are going to be making a giant unicorn frappuccino from Starbucks. Oh my god. I made a giant frappuccino before. I will leave the link in the comment section down below. This one is a little bit more fun though, a little bit more colorful. Alright, let's just jump right into the video. So to make this giant DIY unicorn frappuccino, you are going to need to use a giant trash can. I got my giant trash can from Home Depot. I think it was like $13. You need to make sure you have a lid and also you need to make sure to take off the sticker label. I initially had trouble taking off the label. I was trying to scrape it off my fingers. It wasn't working out good so I used soapy water and the lid of a spray paint can to scrape off the label and it ended up working out pretty well. Now you're going to need to use two different shades of pink for your frappuccino just to make it look a little bit more realistic. So I sprayed on the dark pink on the bottom and then I used the light pink on the top. And then I just kind of used some random spritz and sprays all over just to kind of blend it in a little bit. I didn't want it to be too perfectly blended but I wanted it to still look, you know, kind of, kind of realistic. Now I'm going to use my blue spray paint and I'm going to make a crazy squiggly line down the middle of my trash can, just kind of random. And then I use the light spray paint around the blue edges to just clean it up a little bit and make the blue stand out a little bit more. Then I got a paper towel roll and I spray painted it green. This is going to be your straw. Now here's where I messed up. I got this smart stuff. This is for gaps and cracks. And whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not where I messed up, I promise. Basically, what I did wrong here, which I shouldn't have done because I already made a Starbucks Frappuccino. I don't know what I was thinking here. I basically sprayed on like three bottles of the great stuff and I watched it melt. So my straw keeps falling. I sprinkled on some crushed up pastels onto it for the powder and just the whole thing was a mess. Hold, like you guys can see it like breaking. So the next morning I go to check on it and it's dripped and it's flat and it's not very, very good looking uh, whipped cream. It looks bad. So I ripped it off the lid, uh, garbage. This is all garbage and it actually ripped off some of my pink spray paint which, you know, doesn't really matter because I can just spray over it. And now I'm using the stuff I used in the previous Starbucks video. This is the great stuff, big gap filler. This is what you need. You have to use big gap filler. And the key here is to spray a whole layer on and then wait about 20 to 30 minutes until it's dry and then spray another layer on and just layer it up. That's the key here. So for my Starbucks logo, I went on a website called Block Poster and it basically just prints out my logo on four pieces of paper. I cut it out taped it together, looks amazing, and then I taped it onto my giant Starbucks cup. Now to be honest, you don't need any fancy glue, you don't need any fancy tape, you just tape it on there and usually it sticks on there for pretty long. My other Starbucks cup, it lasts a while. Then I went around and filled in any extra gaps that I saw on the lid and I made my whipped cream look a little bit more whipped because it looks a little flat here. And then we filled it with Orbeez. So this is Jay taking some of the Orbeez out of the Orbeez couch. R.I.P. Orbeez couch, you were amazing while you lasted. And let me tell you, putting your arms in this thing felt amazing. Then I took some blue and pink acrylic paint and I sprinkled it on there. I think that the acrylic paint works a little bit better than the pastels just because it's not messy and it dries and you're not, you don't have to worry about like any powder getting on your hands afterwards because we all know that pastels do not dry. So, we filled up the giant Starbucks with Orbeez, and this is all the Orbeez from my Orbeez couch. We're moving across country, so unfortunately I couldn't keep my Orbeez couch. Um, 
So, you know, we repurposed it for this video. Yes. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to hop into my giant unicorn Orbeez Chino. So let's go. Oh my god. That feels so cool. Oh my god. This feels so cool and it's so warm. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I, I love this. I freaking love this. This is so cool. Smash that like button if you think that the unicorn frappuccino looks beautiful. Unfortunately, I haven't tried the unicorn frappuccino yet because uh, living in LA, you know, everything's sold out all the time, which is super annoying, which is partially the reason why I'm moving. I'm moving just specifically for the fact that the Orbeez frappuccino is gone. Oh my god. I keep saying Orbeez frappuccino. <laughs> The unicorn frappuccino. This feels so awesome. Okay, you guys, so I want all of you guys to put this on your bucket list. This is so awesome. Like, you have to do this. This feels so cool, and like, to sit in this, like, literally every part of my body is supported and like, is getting touched. Like, it's like a, it's like a sensation overload. It's insane. Shout out to Michaela on Twitter and Natalie on Instagram. If you guys want a shout out in my next video, be sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter and let me know. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!